Hello, I'm Mateen Durrani, the editor of Physics World. I'm here to talk to you about the November issue of the magazine, which is all about commercialising physics. That's a topic that some physicists find a little bit grubby because they'd rather be doing their very basic fundamental work. But Margaret, it's been something that you've been interested for quite some time in. Yeah, it has. I'm the careers editor of the magazine, and so it's obviously really important to me to look at what careers physics graduates go into. And we know from statistics that really the majority will go into industry of some kind. I mean, that might be energy and engineering, or it might be something quite far removed from that, such as patent law or finance. But they do go into industry rather than, in the most part, into academic science. So I'm always glad to see the magazine cover um, topics that are really of relevance to people in that industry community. But I think this, this issue is, is a bit different, even more so than, than what we've done a lot of times in the past, in, in that it really goes, goes into the, the process of commercializing physics and not just the specifics of individual applications of technologies. Yeah, there's one really great example from the issue that I really personally like, and it was about the development of digital photography in the 1970s by Kodak. And at the time, the guy who invented it had this massive toaster-like digital camera that you had to put around on your shoulder to, to see anything. And Kodak never thought there'd be a market for this. And, and in fact, that's one of the difficulties for physics-based firms, having a technology that just doesn't have a market. And in Kodak's case, they just couldn't believe that there would never be a market for conventional film camera work anymore, and so they didn't invest in it. Other firms did and took a march on them and really, really succeeded. Yeah, and it's actually something, there's interesting parallels there to what's just happened with, um, with the Nobel Prize, uh, blue LEDs. Yeah, that's right, Margaret. It was very handy for us that as we were finishing the November issue, we were pleased to hear that the 2014 Nobel Prize for Physics went to three Japanese-born physicists for their development of efficient blue light-emitting diodes. Now, the point was they weren't the first people to develop such devices, but what they did was persevere with the development into a successful commercial product. And, and that, for me, showed them the, the real success of persevering. Yeah. Absolutely. Actually, we've um, done some innovation of our own, um, and we've redeveloped our app. Um, and you can read Physics World on um, tablets or smartphone devices, and there's the cover of the November issue. So if you remember the Institute of Physics, please do check out that issue.